we are going to be talking about Group B Streptococci. Now, Group B Streptococci is most commonly found in newborns, and it affects one in every 2,000 infants. The number one cause of infant mortality is Group B Streptococci. Common symptoms include fever, difficulty feeding, irritability or sleeplessness, difficulty breathing, and a bluish color to the skin. For children, most, common co most commonly causes sepsis, <laughs> infection of the blood, pneumonia, infection in the lungs, meningitis, and stillbirth. Root B streptococcal infection in healthy adults is extremely uncommon, except in young and middle-aged women. As people age, they will also become more likely to obtain the disease. The rate of serious group B strep disease de increases with age. Average age of cases in non-pregnant adults is about 60 years old. And today it's present in about 25% of all healthy women, but most have no symptoms. 1 in 200 will be affected if they are not given antibiotics, and 1 in 4,000 will be affected if antibiotics are given. Factors that increase the possibility of infection include diabetes mellitus, cardiovascular disease, congested heart failure, history of cancer, and obesity. Now, how has this disease evolved over time similarly with us? Since G B B GBS hasn't been around for very long, it is more than likely that it evolved out of a different strand of streptococci. GBS is probably the effect of humans adapting to survive against a different strand of streptococci. So, to emerge and keep surviving, the disease had to change out of its old strain and come into the strain that we know today as Group B strep. And that is Andrew acting like a caveman. Okay, still acting like a caveman. Oh, this is my part. I'm so sorry. Keywords of the disease include, I really messed this up. It's all right. <laughs> Genome diversity, evolution, antigenic diversity. Streptococcus is a leading cause of invasive infections in young people and animals and is responsible for bovine mastitis. It is also a bacterium that adapted to certain types of colonization that produce or show no symptoms in the mammalian gut and of the genitals and urinary tract. It has also been shown that earlier version of, versions of these diseases were first found in animals and then humans. This most likely was because humans are very healthy and are a species that has a high population. Luckily for us, GBS has been an issue for a while since we discovered penicillin. GBS, although still hides within people without them even knowing it, so GBS's survival tactic, hide. Oh, and um, that's our information on Group B Streptococci. Thank you for listening, and join us next time.